good morning Wednesday and everybody who will stitch with me today this European town last time when we stitch with you I told you that I will finish there was a yellow spots in here on the bottom so I already finished that they all gone and I went a little bit more up and I did you see this house lights in here Okay, this is oh no that's the one that I will stitch right now okay so this lights yellow on the houses so I also stitch with the same yellow kind of did some progress in here on this first house from the right side all those brown colors up there and then when my thread finish I decided to get back to my road in here and I'm stitching right now I just did my first gray stitches in here and that is a symbol of this axis and from here I will jump to this one stitch in here later we'll kind of get to this one uh, maybe go there I don't know need to get this few in here right on the top just a few of them I might have to uh, break my thread or just make a longer passage to kind of get to this spot so I will stitch now a little bit to outline my orange road in here and stitch with the axis so that's where we're going to be at this moment so I will put you back on my table alright let's do it uh -huh. In here I have this little tail, but I did not over stitch yet because it's coming from here to here. But I have to stitch in here, so I literally I will hold this piece in here so it's still sticking out because I don't want to cut till I over stitch with the thread that will go on this orange symbol. And this little tiny tail that I have in here, it's actually the one thread that I'm stitching right now. I kind of started from a little bit higher and stitched this too. So I can literally cut this right now or create one more stitch in here to make it more secure. I'm so used to it, this uh, schedule of Cross Stitch Wednesday that I'm actually like looking forward to it. And uh, this is uh, really beautiful to work with everybody else. I see many pictures on Facebook group of your progress. Some of you did already so much because some of you create not so many whips. So you can have a good progress on one instead of me having so many. But it's fun to change them. If you did not see my video week number one of uh, whips that my spinner picked for me, I will do this weekly and I think I will try my best to post them on Sundays because usually those videos are alone and my last video I believe it was an hour and 20 minutes because I was recording through the week on all three project progress so video went a little bit longer than I thought but surprisingly lots of you were so uh, happy to have this kind of video and I have to say that this video looks like a very popular video because just in one day I got like thousand views I'm really surprised that so many of you like this kind of format of the video so I guess I'm going to continue this way and if you watch the video that you know I picked two projects for this week and I started hold on hold on I'm thinking did I start it last night no um, I kind of started to organize what did I do I know that I oh no I did I did and my counted I did a good progress uh yesterday that would be well 
when you were watching the video oh, it was a Sunday right Sunday so yes on Sunday I did um, work on my canvas that okay I'm trying to see if this is the symbol X yeah because here's the X and plus and they are very similar looking I think this is the X in here um, and then you know what else I stitched last night so I stitched my counted for them for my weekly uh, whips picked by spinner but also I felt like I you know I did not stitch on my Hyatt for so long that actually I sit down last night and I stitched to two o'clock in the morning and I did some it looks like I did a good progress and lots but I only stitched like uh, 128 stitches I think not much for her yet right but since last video that I show you I show you that I had 80 no 1 percent I hit on my stitches now I have a 1.18 so slowly I'm making progress very very slowly <laughs> yeah and i did not touch for a long time and the point where i want to go i actually cannot reach it anymore because my frame my yeah that's a square frame q snap doesn't let me go further to finish that symbol because i was working on a dark 939 dmc code so i have to go and work on different colors maybe go to the left of my stitching or or move my frame a little bit more up because I was really in the mood to finish those dark colors up there I don't know so when I want to relax I just go to this one and work on this canvas so I were stitching as well by finishing some of this colors on the bottom in here the, especially the yellow color because if I just stitch on Wednesdays only I will be stitching for 10 years so time from time when I feel like I want something new then I go and stitch this one because it's very easy I don't have to count nothing so I'm just go to this one canvas always Did you watch my Valentine video? The story I have up there? OMG. That is a very scary story. You should go and watch and have a good time. So when I do this symbol in here now, it's going to be like nicely outline and then I just fill in with all those light colors it's going to be no headache no brain no thinking just stitch and stitch okay this one is an X or it's a plus oh no actually when I look on the camera I can see better than this is an X looks different sometimes no not this one hold on this one. okay integrate full stitch first and here before I forget yeah I, I don't like when they put like a similar symbols together but obviously generated by computer but still they still you know could take a time and separate them or at least make in the different colors because plus and X in the same black color in here and they just making a, even your eyes get kind of funky because you know this and this and then this and this is kind of like similarity in the symbol and really trigger your eyes to think what are you stitching and sometimes I'm afraid when I will chit chat I can easily slip and start to stitch wrong symbol happened to me before I think on diamond painting mostly <laughs> I did mistake like that yeah 
and also there's a symbol in here that is a star you can see star in here and the star if it's close to the plus it almost looks like the same so definitely need to have uh, this booklet for a reference to check sometimes color and by the way if you are stitching the same symbol please be very very careful because it's two symbol of P in here P there oh where we are hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on there here is the P that I'm stitching capital on the green background and there is a lowercase P on the green background make sure don't make a mistake because right now we are stitching capital so basically I just look on the background on my pattern in here which color match to which P and my match was lighter color of green so that's why I know it's a capital P and it's a 24 so very tricky sometimes you have to pay attention to pattern before I pull out my thread I always double check if I have uh, lower and uh, capital case uh, of leather so I don't make a mistake because it's really easy to stitch in the wrong color if it's like a cream colors that would be okay wouldn't be a problem right but what if that's the other color something bright and green and you would put this on the road and later look as like wow well, why your canvas look different than other people's I think I, can, I, can I try here with two hands let me see let me see if this will work to move camera okay I have in here my diamonds on the top of my frame oh my lamp just a minute we will readjust because I'm keeping my magnifier here for extra light for you to to see okay what did I do here stitch my okay And what else I did yesterday? Actually, I diamond paint tiger. Yes, that tiger that we work together with you. I did good chunk in three different colors. I think I managed to make a black, gray, and kind of like a cream color. Because I want to finish kind of quicker, a little bit bottom of the canvas so we can get to more spicy colors juiciness of the tiger itself so I did some little bit progress I'm still thinking maybe just maybe for the tiger diamond paint together maybe I will bring the other tiger that I have 3d bookmark that oh hold on I don't remember Oopsie, I forgot to mute my phone. My husband just called. Yeah, so now I forgot what I was talking about. Hmm. Now I have to think of... Oh, something about Tiger. Ah, that's what I say. I don't remember. If I already have the video unboxing, I will keep talking to you about now. Just a minute. I'm looking at right now my calendar, Tiger. Ah, uh, no. That video unboxing will be on Friday. So the tiger will be the same tiger as we do together with you till we get <laughs> unboxing video first because that would be kind of our own way to work on a project before I did the unboxing for you. All right. So as always, still this week goes thrown two video per day because I still, I thought I'm catching up, but obviously this couple of days maybe two days 
I did not record it any like unboxings and I just decided to get some work done on my projects so I uh, yeah I still have to lots to record okay I'm going to down in here to catch up those singles so I don't have to come back to them back so I will do like half 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 stitch till I get to this point and then I will close them back in a full stitch and continue my stitching to the top and wherever I will have those little passages on the other side the orange all this big patch which will be white of white kind of colors uh, it will over stitch them on another side so we are okay we will be okay see when I make my stitch from here to here the other one should be from here to here but I will do opposite now from here to here so I'm kind of a little bit more close to the stitches that's what I usually do to cut the shorter line to get to where I need to go which is, shouldn't be like this but that's what I do it's still not going to be visible there's something wrong or something no it's not it's still going to be look good and then I will have a good patch in here to work with this color it's lots of orange in here I know this stitch is a little bit not very well for you to see but let me just get back up to my houses because I think in here there's a bushes starting let's see the pattern let's remind one more time where's my page um, the face of the page in my bag I guess okay I can show you in here a little picture if I can show you right in here there's some kind of what's up there yeah the grass like a yard grass maybe even a little plant no I think it's like a grass yard starting right that's where we're stitching right now yeah my frame framed to cover this house and this little kind of like a little tiny cottage next to it or something this two kind of two squares that's what in my frame so oh am I showing you off the camera <laughs> sorry I forgot I zoomed close yeah that, that that's what's in my frame this two blocks like this so we are working on a road right in here I should say four blocks in here okay let's let's finish make sure to find us okay so I got clothes in here where is the one stitch that I have a single one I was here somewhere no okay no it's not okay so this is a little bit longer passage but that's okay we will over stitch that later because this canvas is really tough of course I cannot wave on another side it's just not possible plus I'm using a not sharp needle at all and I like this one because it's when sharp needle it's kind of good to work on 14 count if you want to do like your stitches like over stitch through pinch through the center of your square to finish um, but the flat nose for me easy to find a hole on another side instead of a sharp nose usually catching up all those fibers on the other side and it's difficult to find the hole because it's always trying to go somewhere else because it's so sharp so I don't really like to work with sharp sharp it 
Did you like my spinner chores, Will? I should give you those chores every single day. We should do this every single day to clean up a little bit. To be honest, the vacuum, it's not even a chore that I need to pick. I must do every single day with two golden retrievers. You know how much fur around here? Oh, it's insane. I have to pick it up. Good thing for the hard floor that is just keep swooshing to the sides, to the corners, you know. So it's easy just to pick it up the clunk. If not vacuum. If you want a dog like this fluffy, you have to really consider if you love your dog a lot to care to pick it up this much fur after them. If you're ready for that task, then you are ready to have a golden retriever like husky, even worse. They have so much hair to shed. Yeah. So yeah, vacuum and chore for me wasn't a chore. That was like a daily thing anyway. But I see Daisy already put a whole bunch of nose print on the glass again because she keeps chasing, looking at everything, what's going on outside. Okay, where we are, kind of far away. I might, oh, my light again on the way, hold on. I might can get you a little bit more in here. See, I'm trying not to put right now my camera on the top of the canvas, that's why the view a little bit further. You know I'm lucky. It's Valentine's Day and I ask just my husband on the phone. I say, well, it's Valentine's Day. What would you like me to cook for you for dinner? You know what he's saying? It's Valentine's Day. I will bring you something. You don't have to cook. Uh, how can you not love this man? I have to stop my video again because <laughs> my video processed and usually I plug to mute it and I forgot to mute it myself I start talk loud in this video now I have to trim my video again first of all I recorded today video unboxing and I wanted to create video just in one frame so I don't have to process because it's take hours sometimes hours sometimes fast sometimes long time and I chit chat so much I forgot to pay attention on my time and of course shut down like before I finish my video like two minutes more left to finish no camera shut down and now the video finished processed so I starting to upload now to my channel this is like a full-time job that I absolutely love it and I have so used to it. now. Oh, this is we are stitching the puppy legs. That's the doggy with the French knot that was hunting me. That's why I did tutorial of French knot. So we are stitching his legs in here. Uh, so what I was saying, ah, it's like a you know 24/7 job. Somebody asked me how much how many hours per day I do my crafts and usually I'm joking by saying 24-7 and I don't think it's a joke it's literally oh okay I went on the wrong hole it's literally 24-7 because sometimes I do my craft all the way till morning especially when a snow fall and I'm home non-sleeping I do my craft every moment usually for 11 count Ada I'm using this part of my threader but this 
this one see it doesn't fit not not long enough hole in here so my other needle bigger this one I have to use my little one extension in here I work on my crafts every single minute I have sometimes because I want to sometimes because I have to and it's just uh, my routine that I so used to I like soldier that everybody go to work this is my job as a reviewer youtuber influencer and it just in my in my heart already like um, this is something that I need to do every single day I'm so used to it that right now we'll see like I have a videos two videos per day how in the world I would be managed to create video that would be like once a week it's not even possible right now by the way somebody contacted me to review their product uh, some new website that I did not review yet and I did check their website they say okay pick some products for free which well it's not really free because I have to work for it to record video right to spend my time so it's never free it's a like a you know a exchange for whatever it is looks like this video also will be from me <laughs> to put together a million pieces it's the day when you want to be very smooth and go everything fast and record quick it doesn't go that way it's always go something not as I want to okay readjust a little bit because we are going kind of a little bit around this way I'm just gonna crank the camera sideway kind of I'm doing it around that looks like a, some kind of yard and I see that this piece of thread in here I have to kind of flatten from the side um, have not to get shades well it's going to maybe maybe I can hold it like this upside down so it's not shady for you kind of looks weird because it feels like I'm going to over stitch this thread from the bottom my 17 years old two days ago got the email that he accepted to the army because we were waiting a few emails to see if he all okay with the medical he already did many different things that they need him to to put information everything right so he passed everything and he accepted and most likely he will go there before even finishing school which is in March it's terrifying for me as a mother my heart is pumping like crazy I'm scared okay I will cut this thread now here pull it down so yeah I will have a little soldier very soon okay where, where am I stitching okay here So we're trying to see if we can get like him to go at least when he finished school his graduation so we'll see what they're gonna email back for us because it's supposed to be 
on 2nd of March go get his uh, how you call it oath, uh, whatever they swear up there sworn for the protect and then I don't know when they're gonna send him far far away I don't know how we're gonna handle that situation scared I'm scared he pick very dangerous profession which of course I'm proud very much that the world is so not settled that is really scary so that's what in my head these days my friends very not settled my heart especially with all those news from back home from Ukraine what's going on up there around We'll see if I will keep up with cheering you up or I will just shut down myself like I did since 2014 that I was out for over six or seven years. Couldn't do nothing. So I outlined this grass line and I think this is the part that go right to the house already because in here we have the house starting you see that so it's like a maybe some kind of brick on the bottom of the house I still have a little bit thread left in here let's see Moments, moments. You should see how I stitch in here my <laughs> diamonds on the top of my canvas lamp crank in front of the camera so you can see better. Construction here. <laughs> Soon as I get this road done, I think I still want to create this road first because there's lots of orange color in here and the same color we have here in the house as well. But since this road done, oh, I cannot wait to get this because there's a pretty flowers up there should be grow. Some more cherry colors, not just the pastels, which this road look really good with this light colors and to be honest every color see even I was stitching my weekly challenge that I did on those big Asian flowers I was working the same pastel colors like a white off white grays so I didn't have much color lately for stitching So Sunday's coming up, you will have another long video, I guess, of cross stitch, what I created. And I can't believe it's already, it's going to be, well, it's Wednesday for you right now, but for me, this is only Monday. So I still have a time to make some good progress on my stitching. See, I already have very short thread in here but I'm usually stitch and stitch until it's really barely needle go down I'm really good on my threads without wasting them so let's see if I can create this another two maybe just a one before I lose thread from my needle I think I can make it one more so we can oh, so we can finish this one there. and 
of course I have uh, let me okay let me just finish first because I want to do million things at once oh see I lost in here I lost in here so what I will do sometimes when it's very very short I put my needle in so it's kind of close to the thread if you really need like one cross stitch make and that's it and you don't want to retread it just put your needle inside of the fabric pull it <laughs> and that's it and now I'm just going to exit somewhere in here in the orange I don't know let's see if I can make it or I already lose maybe threads I don't know where, where is the thing is coming out there hold on let's see if I can catch those threads oh I did <laughs> Or is it two left? It two. I lost one. Okay, I have to redo it from another side like this when I flip my uh, frame. Okay, so that's it for today. We'll be... I have to put this video together. It's a pretty road in here. I love this road. So I will create by myself. Probably will go more with this now I have this you know more of this excess and a little bit of this brown one but I have now good chunk in here to actually work just with this light color so I think that's what I will do just over stitch all this so I can go up a little bit for more fun all those colorful and greens and pinks whatever that is up there all right I love you all have a good day everyone and Wednesday I don't have anything yet but I will record for you something diamond painting as well so you have uh, two videos all right love you and I will see